Hello everyone, I'm Timmy Carbine and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved and we've got a short video for you. Uh, this episode is going to be all about the deep sea loot gates which were added in version 233. So we're going to go through where to find them, what's in them, uh, we're going to try and find all the answers to them. Uh, but they have only been out for a day so we might not have all the answers just yet. Alright, so I'm going to get ready and uh, then I'll see you guys in the ocean. Okay guys, and we're back. Now while we're uh, looking for one, I'm just on a Megalodon. I grabbed uh, uh, some scuba gear as well because that's going to help us on our search. Um, but while we're looking for them, let's go through what I actually do know about them. So, I know they look like the cave loot drops. They don't have um, an expiration timer, so they don't disappear. And it looks like you need to be level 80 to open them. But I don't know how... I haven't actually seen one myself, so I don't know how big they are. If they're the same size as the, the cave loot drops, or if they're bigger. I don't know if they have a beam shining out, out of them. All I know is they're on the sea floor, and they're supposed to contain updated loot. So we'll have a look. See if we can find one. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and I've done an entire lap of the map and I haven't found one yet, but I've only been checking the very bottom shelf. Um, so maybe they're not as deep as I thought. So I'm starting to check up on the um, shallower parts as well. So I guess we'll be back when uh, I actually find one. Oh, is that one? Holy shit. Okay. We found one. So that's what they look like. Make sure there's nothing around. Okay, so you've got to be level 80 to open it. There's a shark coming for me. We're good now? Okay, so I just want to show you guys what it looks like so you know what you're looking for. Okay, so that's what they look like at a distance. Now I just um, turned down my render distance because I was trying to get all the rocks and the coral not to spawn in so soon. Uh, it doesn't affect the drops, it only affects like the, the landscape and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if that helped. Um, honestly, I've been looking for about <laughs> probably close to two hours now and this is my first one. So that's what it looks like. Uh, actually, I'll show you what it looks like without the goggles as well. I've been doing a bit of farming while I'm out here. <laughs> okay, so without the goggles... Oh, they're really hard to see without the goggles. Wow. Because you don't get that red glow. Let's see what happens. Yeah, if you zoom out, yeah, they're really hard to see like that. You definitely need the, the goggles, I think. In my opinion, anyway. Alright, so let's see what this bad boy's got. So there you go, we're at 10 uh, latitude and 9.3 longitude. And we've got... Holy shit. An Ascendant Plesio <laughs> Plesiosaur platform saddle. Look at the armor on that, 86. Wow. Oh, we gotta get some more of these, that's awesome. Okay guys, I found another one. Now it's uh, during the day this time, and it's right in the middle of the screen. Look how hard that is to see. So I think nighttime is the best time to go searching for them, because it, it produces a really big uh, red glow. Let's get rid of these anglers. And there is a um, mosasaur over there. Hopefully he doesn't want a piece of me. Alright. What does this one hold? An apprentice ghillie mask? Not too bad. I would have wanted uh, something a little bit better, but oh well. It's still really good. It's good to have this decent loot for a change. Alright, I'm gonna keep searching. Oh, actually, um, before... Before we do that. 
I'll show you the location. So we're at 91.4 uh, latitude and 34.6 longitude. Is that another one? Yes. Yeah, night time is definitely the best time for, for this sort of stuff. Alright, so we're at 59.1 and uh, 7.5. And this one has... An apprentice Quetzal platform saddle. All right, we're on a roll now. They're, they're starting to come a little bit easier. So the strategy I'm doing is I'm following the ocean floor, um, and basically the outside of the map. Um, I haven't seen any spawn on top of like rock formations like that. It's always been on on the ocean floor itself, um, but they do tend to hide them in coral and um, in between rocks and shit like that so just um, keep your eyes open for them I guess I'm gonna spin this level up okay it's just below these guys we're just gonna clean up this mess so we uh, don't die when we try and get it oh is that a 120? that better not be a 120 don't make me kill a 120 it is a 120 god damn it Well, that's it there. Um, I'm pretty sure we can get it without killing it. Can we get through here? No. We've just cornered ourselves. Perfect. Um, I also want to see how Gamma affects it. See if it makes them stand out a bit more. Or Let's do uh, 1.5. Yeah, not really. We go back to normal gamma. Uh, it does a little bit, but yeah, nighttime's still the best by a long shot. Okay, I'm not killing that 120, so I'm gonna try and lure it over here, and then we'll make a break for it. All right, so we're at 86.5 uh, and 9.1. Journeyman Gilly Leggings. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm just about back at base and um, I was playing around with the render settings, uh, render distance, and it looks like the beacons are affected by, um, by your setting on that because... Um, I've turned it uh, all the way to epic, and I can see a supply drop um, like off in the distance there. It's blurry as fuck, but I can see it. <laughs> now, if we change, if we change this to low, and wait for it to load, <laughs> it's gone. So, uh, yeah, run around with epic um, rendering distance, if you can. And go nighttime. Nighttime's definitely the way to go. And definitely look for them at nighttime, because during the day, this is all you can see. It's, it's pretty tricky to find them. So, hey. I think we've been here before, 59.1, 7.6, I think this is one we've picked up before. Another Quetzal saddle. This is just a regular one. That's awesome. So, five drops. Pretty good. This, <laughs> I've been going for about three hours though. Okay, so just a quick recap guys before we end the video. You've got to be level 80 to open them. They're pretty much impossible to see without the mask. Nighttime is definitely easier because they produce a red glow. <laughs> it seems like there's only one or, or two that spawn on the map at one time. And once you grab that one, then it spawns in another location. 
So having a high level water dino just travel around the outside of the map uh, until you find them, basically. Um, the only ones I ever found were on the sea floor. Uh, I never saw any spawn any higher than that, but I wasn't really looking that high. I only gave it a quick glance. Um, so that doesn't mean that they they definitely don't spawn up there. They they might. Um, but, yeah, as I said, um, they've only been out for a day or two, so we don't know everything about them just yet. Uh, they contain high-level gear and blueprints. Um, I didn't get any weapons, but I have seen other people get weapons, um, which is really good. Uh, and also, I have never seen an Ascendant quality item in the game without spawning it in before, so this is awesome. Yeah, so the deep sea loot crates, definitely worth your trouble. Definitely go and find them. Alright, so that's going to do it for me, guys. Don't forget to lead your targets, and I will see you next time. Actually, no, it'd be longer than that, it'd be, including the stuff I did last night, because I spent probably a good... Fuck you, dog.